Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another mod review here with my self simulation for the nation. I don't do them very often, but when I do it's because I find something that's either quite quirky, amusing, or just darn right brilliant. And this, I think, to me, is definitely one of the first two. This is a new Deutzfahr. Uh, this is the Intrac. Now, Deutzfahr we know uh, in FS19 at least have a wide range of uh, equipment. A lot of tractors available just on the mod hub below. We've got the Deutzfahr Series 7, the Agrostar 661, the Agrostar Series 4, the Drop Nose. All really good and very detailed machinery. Uh, and then there's, then there's this. Really, it reminds me of a bit of the fence island, but someone's chopped the front off. Uh, it's a very compact little machine. Could could quite. Be very useful as a utilitarian little beastie really uh, allows you to do a whole host of different jobs configurations aren't too in-depth you can put forest or uh, forestry and or snow chains on there like we have done here also equip it with a bit of a forestry cage just in case uh, and then this is just the normal spec uh, two different engine sizes we're looking in the region 70 horsepower and 90 horsepower uh, this is the 90 horsepower as you can see now this has been converted, uh, it's been made ready for LSL for FS19 by uh, Grossbauer, uh, as you can see here as well as look in the back there, he's got his uh, YouTube uh, channel. Uh, so he's done a good job of converting this across, externally at least it looks fantastic, like I said it's a very funky little piece of equipment, I might try and find a way to get one of this shoehorned into a series somewhere somehow. Um, but as we go inside, you can tell it was originally uh, from previous versions. Uh, as the interior leaves a little bit to be desired, uh, when we crank it up, uh, we ha our gauges aren't responding there really, and some of the inter interior does look a little bit outdated, a little bit square. Uh, but the door is open, we do have some uh, some functionality here, you can slide that door open and shut, and that there front window uh, opens as well, so you can see it moves there, uh, which is pretty cool. So it gives you that, but I, like, I just think it's a very nice piece of equipment that you could do a lot with really, uh, try and utilize a, a lot of different uh, bits and pieces uh, what I would love to see and I don't think I can do right now is mount something on the back here if you could mount like a, a sprayer right there that would be pretty sweet uh, but yeah that's something that could be pretty cool is like a little sprayer tractor uh, but hey that's my thoughts uh, so yeah, that's what it is. It's not very big. It costs a lot of money for what it is though I may say it is uh, in the store here as we go and we'll just have a quick look £11,000 really, so on the grand scheme of things, it's not too bad, €11,000, sorry, but it's it's not too bad, you can put um, Nokin ties on there as well, should you want to, uh, and then in terms of the options there, you have the forestry, the wide, all the standard ties, so not a huge amount, but just something to really kind of, that's a little bit different really, isn't it, looks good, I'm sure people like yourself can find use for it, I'm going to try and find use somewhere to bring it in, just to get it going, I might do a little bit of a... Uh, trickery with it first and play about with it and uh, add a few things, take a few things off it where possible uh, and we'll see what we can do. Uh, but that is just a little insight into what I think is a pretty cool, pretty quirky little vehicle. Uh, do let me know down below in the comments what you think. Um, what we're going to do is just take it for a little bit of a drive because why the heck wouldn't we? Uh, let's go back here. And one thing I did notice as well, when you stick it into drive, uh, let's go forward and uh, I'm using the wheels so when I let go of the pedals. It doesn't do it on this one, which means it could be a forestry chain thing. The front wheels on this guy skid around a little bit. So that could be something that's actually really in, really well made. So when I stop, the front wheels kind of grind to a halt there. Uh, when you're in third person mode, this the windows on here do look a little bit weird. Uh, I won't lie, the character looks a little, little bit like the window isn't actually there. That could be the issue. But off we go. It's a funky little thing. It's like something... Pick a picture on the back leaves a little bit to be desired. There's not a great deal of detail in there. Uh, that's something you can definitely tell has come out of the earlier model. But ultimately, yeah, it's just a nice little fun uh, bit of kit. Uh, doesn't go too quickly. Sounds quite decent. Uh, it's like someone took a fast track and chopped the front end off as well, but hey, I think that's kind of funky. Uh, so let me know down below what your thoughts are. I'm going to have a bit of a drive around in this and figure out how I can use it and where I can use it. If you have any ideas, I'd love to hear it. Stick it in the comments down below. And we will see you in the next one. Have yourself a great day. We'll catch you all later.